Hey what's up guys, I'm Sal from Cronstech and almost all of India was in shock today by a smartphone launch that's been catching up the heat lately. Freedom 251 3G smartphone for only 251 rupees, that's roughly 3.6 dollars and that is a benchmark in cost cutting if it comes to happening. Now I was at the unveiling of this mysterious phone that was priced so low that it was almost impossible to believe for everyone out there. But here it is, the phone that shook the tech industry, the ringing bells, Freedom 251 smartphone. Now as you'd expect at this price point, anything or everything would just do. You wouldn't be expecting much features and all that stuff. But let me tell you, it packs some really nice features. The body is made out of a plastic compound, which is pretty obvious. On the front is a 4 inch IPS LCD display with a resolution of 960 by 540 pixels. That produced some really decent colors at 275 pixels per inch, and that's pretty good. I mean, you cannot expect something more than that. And it all comes with a pretty well brightness, I would say. Being an IPS display, you won't have much difficulty watching it from different angles, and it should have the almost same quality from any single perspective you watch it from. On the top of the screen is an earpiece along with the sensors and a 0.3 megapixel camera. Now I'm not sure if 0.3 megapixel camera can do anything at all, but hell, even Moto E didn't have a front camera and that was priced at 6000 rupees. So you can take selfies but probably not the best ones, maybe the Aadhaar card ones if you know what I'm saying. On the back is a 3.2 megapixels rear shooter that can take average photos that I managed to click some, backed by a flash to give some light to the pictures. This isn't the best camera you can get but I'm pretty sure that the phone doesn't face any competition at this price either. So yeah, you'll have to do with the camera. Right next to the camera is the huge Indian flag. Now guys, let me just tell you, I love my country, but I'm not sure if this was the best design decision they made. On the top of the phone is a 3.5mm jack and a charging port to power up the phone. The bottom of the phone has a mono speaker right next to a mic with pretty clean design. On the left is the volume rocker button along with something that I was shocked to see. A profile switcher button that you can use to switch your phone from silent to general and vice versa just by the press of a button. Now that is something amazing. Seriously, I haven't seen stuff like that in any device of this budget. It's just great. This phone is all about surprises. And talking about surprises, the phone comes with Android Lollipop 5.1 out of the box. Just wow. Now what powers the Freedom 251 is the MediaTek 1.3 GHz quad-core processor with 1 GB of RAM and Mali 400 GPU. So yeah, I should be able to play the basic games easily and do the basic stuff like, you know, browsing Facebook, WhatsApp, clicking a couple of pictures without any lag and all that. The phone comes with an 8 GB internal storage that is expandable up to 32 GB with an external SD card. Now the phone did look like it was pretty close to stock Android or vanilla Android, but it had some elements of a custom skin. The overall performance of the phone was pretty smooth and it didn't look like it would really give a problem. Now what was more shocking was that the phone had support for some advanced features like, like touch gestures and some really advanced interface options. That is something you cannot get for this price. Some companies barely care about their software interface and extra features. Now keeping all this live is a 1450mAh battery which should be able to squeeze out a day or maybe even more. The phone has dual SIM slots and it can run 3G as the company promises. Now that was everything about the phone, but why does it cost so less? There should be some answer to it, right? This phone was with the participation of parliament members like Code, you know, might be subsidized by Indian government so that every Indian can afford it and connect with the global network for, you know, the least price someone could pay and yeah, in turn become more aware about everything in the world. That is the only reason I see for the phone to be priced so less in which the government is actually taking an initiative. Now that might be or might not be. You'll only come to know that once the phone actually goes on sale, which I should add you, you'll need to wake up at 6 in the morning tomorrow to book your phone. Now this is something important. There were some controversies revolving around how this was a Chinese rebranded phone, which is actually Adcom Icon 4, which you can have a look at from Amazon links in the description below. I recommend you to read the article at Phone Radar about how legit this whole thing is. All the links will be in the description below for you to see. Tell me what do you think about the phone in the description below and if you really think this is actually the next big disruption or maybe it's just a fail. Thanks for watching the video guys. If you have any questions then feel free to leave them in the comment section below and there's one more video I made on the unboxing of the phone that I suggest you to watch you too to see what actually comes inside the box of the most cheapest phone on the planet. 
Don't forget to watch the video guys and if you like it then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more updates on this phone. It's absolutely free of cost. Just click on the subscribe button down below. And thanks for watching the video guys. This is Chronostech and I'll see you in the next one.